We are so close. Final question number six. Consider the differential equation dy dx being one third x to the y minus two squared. What is this temperature potato? A slope field for the given differential equation is shown below. Sketch the solution curve that passes through the point 0, 2 and sketch the solution curve that passes through the point 1, 0. This is pretty easy. For the first one, users follow the sl slope field. So the one that goes through 0, 2 should be a horizontal line looking something like this. And, that, and the one that goes through 1, 0. And the one that goes through one zero just follow the line. So something something similar to this. A dipping down V curve. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Two points I'm guessing. Let's go on to part B. Let at y equals f of x be the particular solution to the given differential equation with the initial condition f of one is zero. So they are giving us the point one zero. So when x is 1, y is 0. Write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of y equals to f of x at x of 1. Use your equation to approximate f of 0 0.7. Well, if you want to find the equation of the line, we need a point and the slope. And how do you find slope? Using the equation. This equation. So we know dy dx. We know dy dx is... 1 third x y minus 2 squared, 1 third x y minus 2 squared. So plugging in 0 0.10, we get 1 third times 1 times 0 minus 2 squared, also known as 4 thirds. And knowing the slope and the point, you can find the equation of the line, which is y equals to the slope times x minus 1. And you can put pl plus 0 if you want to, but that's really unnecessary. So that's the equation of the line. Use your equation to approximate f of 0 0.7. Well, f of 0 0.7 using this equation is about 4 thirds times 0 0.7 minus 1, or 4 thirds times negative 3, or negative 0 0.4. So that's the answer to the second one. So let's go on to part C, and it's the final part. Find the particular solution, so not the general solution, particular solution to y equals f of x to the given differential equation with initial condition f of 1 is 0. So we have our differential equation. Let me write that one more time. 1 third x times y minus 2 squared, and we have this initial condition. So let's start by finding the general solution. Once we find the general solution, we can find the particular solution using, the, using this initial condition. So how do you find general solution to this differential equation? Well, we have x and y multiplied on one side, and we have dy dx. So separation seems like the way to go. Separation, besides on calculus A, B, or B, C really, separation is really as hard as it's going to get. So you can al always rely on separation or direct integration. So using separation, we move every y to one side with dy, and every x to one side along with dx. So we have 1 over y minus 2 squared dy and 1 third x dx. Integrate both of them. Integrating the first one gets us one negative 1 over y minus 2. Integrating the second one gets us 1 third times x squared over 2 plus some constant c. And we want to solve this for y. We want to write it y as function of x. So let's do so. So multiplying everything by negative 1, we get 1 over y minus 2 is negative 1 third times x squared over 2 minus c. But minus c is same thing as just another constant. So let me do c not c1. It's just another constant of integration. And we can take the reciprocal of both sides, getting us y minus 2 is 1 over negative x squared over 6 plus some constant. And what can we do? We can add 2 to both sides. Adding 2 to both sides gets us y is 1 over negative x squared over 6 plus some constant plus 2. And how do you find this constant? Using the initial condition that when x is 1, y is 0. So we know that we know that this thing has to contain the point 1, 0. So let's use that. 
So when x is 1, so 1 over 1, negative 1 over 6 plus c sub 1 plus 2, y is 0. So we can solve this equation, subtract 2 to both sides, 1 over negative 1, 6 plus c sub 1 is negative 2, takes reciprocal of both sides, gets us negative 1, 6 plus c sub 1 is negative 1 half, and we can find the c sub 1 as negative 1 half plus 1, 6, also known as, also known as what? Also known as negative 2, 6 or negative 1 third. So we know our equation is in the form 1 over negative x squared over 6 minus 1 third plus 2. And for this one, just to simplify it, we can multiply by 6 to top and bottom. So multiply by 6 to top and bottom, getting us 6 over negative x squared minus 2 plus 2. And we are done.